hi friends welcome back so guys in this video we are going to uh, do a admin panel okay so we will be doing a, a login registration and many things for the uh, one website purpose okay so uh, as we have started with the blog creating a blog so I will show you that blog localhost slash blog php okay so this is just a demo that my college website we have just created right so in the it is in the playlist of uh, how to create a blog in php okay so for this now we need a this is a home page about us page faculty page and academics department of computer science so we want to add all the data from the database okay so i mean admin side so for that we will create an admin panel okay so now let's get back uh, search one dashboard okay so I use start bootstrap admin template okay so you will get many free templates whichever you like it you can download here bootstrap to admin to whichever you like it so you can just go for it and download it okay so this is one dashboard which is over here so guys I have already downloaded it and kept just view on it and you will see the demo also okay so now over here it can get downloaded it is free actually so yes free download if you click it will get downloaded okay so let's view this output see it's something like this okay so this is sb admin 2 I have already downloaded just click on this and it will get downloaded okay so I will show you I have already downloaded that so this is my file which I have downloaded so now let's extract this file extract and extract over here only so extract it so it's extracting it now and until that will close this okay so I will just copy the link and share it to you guys so now it's extracting it so we have to wait for this so 9800 okay it's extracted so guys uh, it is open now so now what we have to do is that we will uh, rename this okay so I'm going to rename I'm going to copy this actually okay copy and go to C drive exam inside exam HT docs inside HT docs we have started with the block PHP okay so inside that I'm going to paste the my dashboard okay so I'm going to paste it over here right so it's copying it now and just a moment so yes it has been copied now so let's rename this rename and I will mention as admin okay just rename admin and let's open this with your IDE or VS code so guys I have already opened it okay so this is the BHP blog which is into my um, exam HD docs folder PHP blog okay so I have opened it here and this is the these are the files which is available inside the admin okay so now let's view the output for this so guys um, this is the home page index.php so after index.php we have to give admin and give enter so our normal dashboard will come okay so this is the dashboard which we have downloaded it and uh, first thing we have to set all this I'm going to remove everything this and set according to our blog okay so that will be like let's go to blog.php and see here so this is home page about us page faculty page okay so we'll create a about us section about us faculty like that departments so we'll create first we have to make a, a login 
okay login system registration system for the admin okay so let's login it's going to login.php right so guys we will do all these things so let's get started with it so let's get back to the code and uh, all the pages are shuffled in this right so what we will do is that we will create one new file inside this okay inside admin index.php right so this is the index.php file which we have created now this file and we will delete some extra files okay which we don't need in this admin one right so let's go to our admin side inside blog so we don't need this git and this and all so just remove these things license package package json readme file we don't need so just select those things and delete it okay so done and now let's get here and this is our normal php file okay so now let's create one we first we will set up our uh, these things okay admin dashboard so for that admin dashboard let's create one folder inside this okay inside this admin i'm going to create one include yes includes okay so includes folder i have created so inside this includes folder i am going to create one file called header h e a d e r header dot php and one more i am going to create new file that is footer dot php and one more will create for the navbar that is navbar dot php or menu bar whatever we say okay and one more will create call for the script tags okay s c r i p t yes scripts dot php okay so four files has been created now so guys let's go to first thing index dot html okay so this is our output index dot html okay so we will grab this first okay so let's take from here control c okay copy and go to c one di we have taken okay so let's go to header and paste it over here right and let's get back to index.html and just remove it of this okay so we have removed it and this is our navbar okay so let's copy this navbar so i'm going to copy this till till the ul ends okay so this is our navbar right so i'm going to cut cut and paste inside the navbar okay just paste it and save it okay just save it and now let's go to index.html file and now let's check for the footer side okay so at the footer side at the footer okay so this is the body end and these are the script tag so i'm going to take the script tags first so cut the scripts okay let's go to scripts.php and paste it save it and let's get back to index.html and cop cut this body okay cut and go to footer.php and paste it okay save it and let's get back to html there will be one footer okay so where is that footer it's here okay so end of footer and this is the div1 okay if you would have remember we cut it at the starting only so i'm going to cut that cut footer.php okay 
so I'm going to paste it over here so this div is at the header okay so inside header this div starts and footer ends at the body okay done and let's get back to index.html and let's see this is one logout model okay so we have to copy this because of the uh, thing I'll show you the output of it and see here so this is the logout okay when you click this logout the model pops up right so this is the model that is over here so I'm going to cut this control X I mean control I cut and paste inside the not header navbar okay so operating will be here so at navbar I'm going to paste it control V save it and let's get back to index.html and this is one scroll bar okay so just cut this and paste at navbar itself okay so let's go to navbar and just paste it above okay save this done right and now guys what we have to do is that the index.html file everything is here okay so now what we have to do give control a control c and go to index.php and paste it okay just paste it inside index.php and let's reload the page called index.php index dot php so the output is something like this because we have not included our things headers and footers okay so let's get back to the code and let's start it here so as normal php open php close and give includes include function where you are putting your header okay so it is telling that inside includes folder includes folder slash your header dot php okay save it and now let's run the output okay okay so the output have come but not the sidebar okay so navbar has not come so let's bring the navbar also so let's get back to the code and uh, what is there okay so let's type so I'm going to give enter over here and type include function okay let's type include function where you are going to call your navbar okay so that is inside includes folder in oops INCLUDES includes folder where navbar.php includes folder navbar.php okay so navbar.php done right so let's save this and get back reload okay so the dashboard is coming now correctly right so it is working fine and at the index.php there are many things this and all so I'm just going to remove all this right so I will just leave these two things so I'm just going to copy this pending request and get back to the code control F so and find that value okay so pending request is here and below this row okay earning reviews so I'm going to remove all this content so just remove this remove this okay so I'm going to remove this all just remove it off and let's leave it okay so index.php came right so these four contents are there so our dashboard is set now and whatever the changes we have to do we have to do in this okay 
so it's not opening because we didn't copy these things why because we did not copy the script tags so those script tags are at the below we have to paste it okay so those are nothing but your script tags are nothing but your footer and their script tags script file okay so that is i'm going to include give a include function where inside includes folder okay so includes folder my file is called f first script okay so scripts dot php so same way called footer footer dot php okay done so now let's save it and run the output so guys click now your every script will work okay so this is done so guys copyright is showing over here because we have done some mistake okay so what we can do is that uh, copyright should be at the below right so let's get back to the code okay so okay we have added this into our footer but we did not remove this okay so I will show you inside footer we have added over here okay but inside index.php should not be there okay so we have to remove this and reload the page okay reload it and it is coming over here okay so finally a dashboard, a dashboard is set now so now in next video we will be doing how to create a login system using session okay so this is how we set our dashboard and uh, it is ready for the admin panel okay so guys now let's uh, uh, see you in the next video where we'll be learning how to create a registration first and then login system with the security okay so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share